Good morning. It's uh, my great pleasure to welcome you uh, to uh, EMBL uh, for the uh, Science and Society meeting. Um, these conferences uh, have a, a short but uh, exciting history. Um, both organizations uh, that sponsor it, uh, EMBL and EMBO, uh, have had uh, um, very active programs on science and society for the last several years. Um, we are doing things in uh, uh, different uh, um, ways, but we have a lot of uh, uh, areas of common interest. And one of those is to organize every year, following an initial uh, great success uh, of our first meeting, a meeting that is ad addressed to important questions uh, that uh, are uh, important uh, scientific, uh, uh, but also important uh, social uh, problems. Um, a couple of words about, about the MBL um, before we go into, into the, the conference. I think most of you uh, know about us, but uh, just uh, to say a few words, the MBL is an, a laboratory that uh, belongs to uh, Europe in the broad sense. Uh, we are funded by 16 member states. In fact, we are owned by 16 member states because we, we are um, an independent organization. We are not part of the EU. We have our own uh, treaty uh, deposited in Switzerland, so it is uh, solid. And, uh, <laughs> and uh, we, we d um, operate uh, laboratories now in five uh, uh, locations in uh, Europe. So the, uh, the laboratory is headquartered in Heidelberg, and that's the most uh, widely known part of the laboratory. But it is really uh, a network of uh, laboratories that um, uh, is working together with the scientific community of, of Europe to, to, to build excellence, to, to, to build uh, connections, uh, and to build uh, um, young uh, future leaders. Th that's uh, our mission. We do it uh, fairly well. We have a very uh, uh, strong and loyal uh, group of uh, alumni, and some of them are, are here that uh, can come in as from as far uh, away as, as far as I know as Boston, maybe even farther, than to, to attend this meeting because uh, they find uh, something v very useful in the laboratory and uh, in, its in their continuing association uh, with it. Uh, we are training, um, as I said, uh, future leaders uh, for science. And in our belief, um, training means not just uh, uh, the hard uh, uh, science, which is, of course, the core of our mission, but also the how science fits uh, in the world. That is really an important uh, goal for all scientific organizations because a science uh, cannot exist uh, apart from a society uh, any more than uh, at this point society can afford uh, to exist uh, um, without science or even against science as sometimes <coughs> happens. So it is in this concept uh, that uh, uh, EMBL has uh, uh, um, organized for five years now a number of activities uh, that attempted to educate our community and help uh, 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 spread ideas uh, outside uh, our community about uh, the proper coupling of um, uh, scientific excellence uh, with uh, uh, socially beneficial um, uh, initiatives. Now, th um, the conference, as I mentioned, is one of a series. It uh, occurs every year following uh, an initial uh, success, and it alternates uh, in terms of the leadership uh, between EMBL and AMBO. This year it's uh, our turn. And uh, um, Haldor Stephenson, who will take uh, the microphone af after me, uh, is the chief organizer, and he'll tell you some uh, things about uh, uh, the logistics and other aspects about the conference. But now let me say a couple of words about uh, why the topic uh, this year. Um, it's uh, really funny how in science um, I, uh, topics come up uh, suddenly and become a center of, of attention <laughs> and uh, uh, how they also fail to register in the radar, or the, the, the communal uh, uh, radar. I think uh, uh, infectious disease is a very uh, clear uh, case in point. It has been a great success of science 
over the last century, uh, that uh, infectious disease, which was the scourge of, uh, of uh, humanity, um, even in the developed uh, countries, um, has to a major extent uh, been controlled. The, that has fostered uh, complacency. And I think uh, uh, we are now at uh, uh, the episode of uh, the problem coming into our radar screens for a number of, of reasons. One is that uh, the global village that we have uh, become have begun uh, making uh, uh, noticeable that although uh, infectious disease uh, um, has to a major extent uh, been addressed as uh, a problem in the developed uh, countries, it has not been in uh, the vast uh, majority of humanity that uh, lives in the uh, tropical and subtropical uh, regions. I, I think the um, threat of uh, bioterrorism, uh, which uh, has uh, come up uh, in the last uh, year, has been a second uh, uh, reason. And uh, this is uh, partly you know, why we combine these topics uh, today, because uh, you can actually see that uh, uh, the world's leaders becoming aware of the possible misuse of uh, infectious agents as a, a weapon of, uh, of uh, war, potentially a devastating one, has raised uh, the question of why have we not done more to address the, the control um, of uh, infectious uh, diseases. Um, I fervently uh, believe that the successes that uh, have already begun, and just speaking from my own specialty of uh, uh, malaria uh, uh, research, this year actually was uh, a real landmark uh, with uh, the publication of the genomes of uh, both the uh, Plasmodium falciparum genome and the vector Anopheles gambiae. And uh, the, the fact that this was done in a coordinated um, uh, way and published in a coordinated way also gives the message that uh, we're not just after the glory, but we're after controlling of the disease. The fact that uh, it was an effort uh, funded by different uh, um, agencies uh, in Europe and uh, the United States and with uh, the umbrella and support and guidance uh, from WHO, TDR, uh, Tropical Disease uh, uh, Research, all of this uh, really um, makes some points. They make the, the, the point that the control of a tropical disease is a goal for humanity. Uh, it is a, a goal that uh, relates to the almost obscene uh, uh, neglect and persistence of uh, the major uh, uh, killers in the tropical areas. Just to look at the inside the cover of uh, your booklet and you'll see that between five and six million uh, deaths uh, are directly attributable to the three uh, top uh, diseases every year. And that's really just the, uh, the tip of the iceberg uh, and because the, the hidden costs are much different than uh, that. Uh, these are kind of costs of uh, loss of uh, um, working days, uh, loss of uh, talent, the, the um, uh, sub-lethal but uh, persistent um, uh, um, problems of uh, early infections in childhood uh, uh, and so on and so forth. To, to conclude then this, these comments, these are uh, very important issues. They are issues that uh, require um, a concerted effort of the scientific community and we are now beginning uh, to see us uh, among some of the major agencies both public agencies and philanthropies, um, a real uh, resurgence of uh, determination that uh, these uh, diseases must be uh, uh, addressed. And not just uh, HIV, which uh, has become very uh, well un understood as a threat because it affects uh, the developed world, but the, the other ones, the, the TB, the uh, malaria, and so many other uh, diseases. So um, the, the fact that uh, now uh, the funders of science and uh, science itself is beginning to, to focus again on this unmet challenge. It is also uh, a time to think about it not just as, as an abstract uh, uh, scientific um, problem by itself, but as a uh, problem of, of science uh, as it relates to society. Um, I, I hope that uh, uh, you will have a, a good time in the next uh, uh, day and a half, uh, and that uh, quite informal um, discussions will uh, take place. Um, 
you, you will hear about uh, EMBO at, at, at the closing uh, session, so I, I didn't uh, want to uh, preempt that. But again, uh, on behalf of EMBL and EMBO, the two co-sponsors of uh, this conference, I welcome you to, to what I hope uh, will be uh, enjoyable and uh, 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 thoughtful uh, two days of discussions. Thank you.